doesn't even this doesn't make any sense. Like how in the world a Kansas truck driver jailed for threatening the woman and the dog with a gun? Now I don't understand. Like how did the police say, you know what? We're pulling you in for the for the woman, and we're charging you for threatening the dog? <laughs> like what did the dog? Honestly, what did the dog say? Did the dog was like? Right, like you know what I'm saying. Was there an eyewitness? Like he like pointing the gun at the dog, like he pointing the yapper. He has a yapper out on the dog. And like, Say something else. Say something else. And they like, you know, we take you in for the dog too. Like if if he was just threatening the dog, would able to charge him if he didn't threaten the woman? I honestly me? feel like it might be a Karen situation slightly because really? I'm a dog owner and I know I feel about my dog, but right. you're right. The dog can't speak for itself to say it was threatened. So the owner, someone had to vouch for this dog and, 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 and be the representation to say the dog got threatened, but for them to put it in the headlines. Oh, this is real. This is crazy. This is, this is, this is crazy. So yeah, shout out to WTAJ fair rights. Uh, anyway, um, a truck driver from Kansas was put in jail after police said he threatened a woman and her dog at the Red Roof Inn. Now, we know ain't nothing good. <laughs> right, you know there is nothing good happening at the Red Roof Inn. There Back is no, I don't even know why they call it the Red Roof Inn. <laughs> You'll go to jail out there quick. Yes, we got a rare roof in like maybe a couple of blocks from up here. And, and let me tell you, it goes down at, at the red roof. <laughs> it does. Lawrence Township police were called around 11 a.m. December 27 after a woman reported that a man later identified as 56 year old Ricky Baskins of Kansas City showed a handgun and threatened to kill the woman and her dog. Now, listen. Baskin reportedly left the scene, which I would have done too, and was later found at Saps Brothers truck stop having his work, his truck worked on. Okay, having his truck worked on. Uh, police said a handgun was found in his truck after getting a search warrant approved. Man, let me, they hold him, they hold him, they hold him Baskin on a $200,000 bond. Listen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I got him. I think he got the. It was really because of the dog. It ain't got nothing to do with the woman. Man, listen, they, this man, they char You think that's the only charge had nothing to do with the dog? I mean, they put it in. They said well, he no, threatened. That's what I'm saying. He pulled the like gap care, out. I hmm? feel they care more about the dog. Did you say two hundred thousand dollar bond? They put a two hundred thousand dollar bond on him. And I mean, it's but, but think about it. It's only her word, right? Because they didn't say a witness seen him. It's only her word against the truck driver. So this is why, I mean, he did have the yapper on him. And it's just like, oh, you got the yapper? Yeah, we're going ahead and take you in. I mean, I he's only- see the woman. I need to see whoever this woman is who's saying this is this man. Because that could have been a love triangle. It could have been a lot of, she might this know him. It's true. This is crazy. I mean, they, they pulled him in over the yapper. They said, hey, you threatened this woman and her dog at the Red Roof Inn. I mean, come on, man. Come on. I, I don't even... I, this this story, this story sounds shaky. It really does. Because, I mean, if he had a yapper on him and, and they're not saying what's their relation, they're not saying that they, were they business, were they doing some business, right? Wink, wink. I uh, agree. He's I agree. at the red roof in, you know, like... Uh, yeah, just they the went whole to go look for him at a truck stop. If right, they hunted him down, can. right? How do you get a warrant like that to search someone's vehicle without probable cause or hearsay? I mean, I guess people's words. Well, obviously, if he threatened her and he left the scene, it's, it appears that he was done with the situation, right? He's getting his truck, right? He's like, he's getting his truck worked on. It's like, hey, man, I'm out of here. I'm on to the next state. And they're like, no, you ain't going nowhere. We'll put you in the slammer, right? Right. He was yeah, trying I to think, get on with his life. Yeah, yeah, that's messed up. I think it was, I don't know, this sounds like a this sound like a, a pretty, you know, a setup or something. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's a love story, bad 